Mr. Mixer Garage Band Guru. Using the Smart Piano, there's some different sounds you can get out of the uh, piano sequences using the autoplay. So normally standard is to let's reduce the volume here so I can talk over it. And the uh, autoplay you can use one, two, three, or four. That's two. This is one, three, four. Just wanted to share with you an advanced technique that's uh, not documented in using more than one finger and trying to get other sounds. So if you put it on autoplay two, notice the differences when I have three, two, and one finger. Let me turn it up so you can hear it. Now we'll go to two fingers. Now we'll go to one finger. So I think you can get a lot more sounds out of that. It sounds really good too if you go slow with the tempo. So let's try three fingers and slow down the tempo. So mess around with one, two, three fingers when you're doing a smart piano and don't be limited to just those uh, one finger touches. Also with the new feature on the 1.01 .01 iPad uh, GarageBand version, you can change these notes to anything you want. So if you want to do a cover on a song using the grand piano, then maybe you might find your main key which would be put here, and then you can change these all to the key that you want if you're going to do whatever cover song. You do that over here in the wrench, edit chords, and then you can change all of these however you want. You can actually change all of them, but you can leave maybe the main key here in this section here is what uh, GarageBand already does whenever you change keys as they put it here, the fifth one over. But any of these can be touched and then you can adjust them to whatever you want here and change all the chords. So that's really nice. Uh, smart piano has really gotten more smart and all the other instruments too you can change the chords alongside uh, the main chord or any of the chords it makes it a much more versatile hope you enjoyed it have fun